Hey friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. Thanks for joining me again. Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 and following. You ever have a hard time waiting on God? You ever think, God, it's been so long. And here we are talking to the eternal God, saying that a few months of waiting or a few years of waiting is so long. Well, the early church, they had trouble with waiting too. They expected that Jesus was going to come back fairly quickly, certainly in their lifetime. And yet, as the years went by, many of them stopped having hope. And here's what Peter wrote to them. Above all, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come, scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming, he promised. Ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. But they deliberately forget that long ago, by God's word, the heavens came into being and the earth was formed out of water. By these waters also, the world of that time was deluged and destroyed. By the same word, the present heavens are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. So Peter says, they say, oh, yeah, everything goes on just like it normally has. This is normal. There, there's no big change. But he said they forget about the big change of the creation. They forget about the big change of the flood. Things change. Crises come. Then he goes on to explain that Jesus still is coming. He said, but do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So it's been 2,000 years since the time of Jesus. He hasn't come back yet. But it's not that he's a procrastinator. It's not that he's slow. It's that he is imminently patient. He is waiting for you to come to him and to repent. He's waiting for the last person who will to come and repent. He doesn't want anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Salvation is welcome to every single person. It's an offer that he gives to everybody. And he's waiting. He's waiting for each person to come. But one day, He'll be done waiting. And he's going to come, as Peter says in the next verse, the day of the Lord will come like a thief. And, and everything is over then. I love how C.S. Lewis put it. When the author of the play walks onto the stage, the play is over. And that's the opportunity that we have. Come to Jesus during the day of salvation. This is the day of salvation. Come to him and be ready for when he comes again. It's hard to wait sometimes, but we know that he's going to come again and he's going to set everything right. Trust in him. Thank you, Father, that we can put our trust in you. So whether it's waiting for something for a few months or whether it's waiting for 2,000 years, we will wait for your deliverance. We will wait for your plan. We'll wait to see how you're going to work out everything that we're dealing with. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. I love you. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow night, Lord willing.